Hello everyone, welcome back to our Madden 23 Seattle Seahawks franchise. It's the preseason, you already know, I'm not going to play in these preseason games because I just don't believe in it. So, what we're going to do here in this first episode actually, our first episode, our first episode of season 3 I suppose, is take a look here at some of our rookies we've drafted, Matthias Polk, linebacker. We're going to um, give them some different accessories and stuff, and so... He is a linebacker. I'm actually going to go with number 45 for him. Um, you know, I think he just, I think that just looks cooler on him. Um, but you see here, six foot four, 225, uh, speed in droves, great strength. So, uh, yeah, changing, with, changing his look up a little bit here. Going to give him a different uh, helmet. Not too many line. I don't know if too many linebackers wear the Vengeance Z10, but I just think this looks kind of cool on him, honestly. Um, and it's just a little bit different compared to uh, everyone wearing uh, the uh, one helmet. We'll see the name. I'll remember the name of the helmet um, once we get in here. Give him a cool looking visor and uh, going to give him some Adidas gloves, actually. Uh, he signed with Adidas. He likes Adidas. He wears his Adidas. And so... Uh, I was going to make a Kanye joke, but uh, I'd rather not do that. So this guy's an athletic freak, so we're going to give him the Adias. Adias. I was, I've was i been watching this other YouTube channel. They always say Adias and instead of Adidas. I think that's more of the American pronunciation of that. But we give him those shoes. I think those look really cool. So we come here, our first round pick, Zach Dean. Hopefully he will become the Dean of Mean for our defense that's something that I want to see, even though that was a very played out joke. Um, but yeah, he is going to go with the Vices Zero Two Trench Helmet. Um, anyone that plays on the D-line, I am going to probably switch them to that uh, Trench Two Helmet. I actually have to switch Nick Bosa to that helmet um, as well. Um, we're seeing a lot more players where anyone that sort of like, once again, plays on the line, defense, offense... Um, you're seeing that helmet a little bit more often from players. And uh, he's aware the Jordan 5 mid. So there is Zach Dean, number 92. Hopefully he will be the Dean of Mean for us. And we have Skylar Wiener, uh, the kicker with the hidden dev trait that I drafted simply based for the name. Um, looking through the faces here, they should really add more faces. Um, so we have him long hair and... Uh, we are going to change him to the shut F7 helmet and, uh, give him a kicker face mask here. And, uh, yeah, going through here, just, uh, giving him different pad heights and things like that. I'm going to change his sleeves. I kind of thought about tight long looks a little weird with the Seahawks jerseys. I hope that's something EA uh, looks into with how the different Jersey cuts, how like uniforms kind of mold to the different cuts of jerseys players wear um i kind of hope you see that actually so we're gonna have him some sleeves here team color sleeves and uh i'm excited this is weird one of the more players that i'm more excited to uh maybe get to use is a kicker uh i've seen bangal series with his uh, 99 uh kicker and uh, so I'm a little interested to see if we can maybe hit field goals from that long. But yeah, he's going to be kicking in Jordan 1s. I don't know if any kicker out there is wearing Jordans right now. But uh, yeah. Oh, so Skylar Wiener, we're looking for a number for him. And uh, we settle on 15, actually. And that looks pretty good, actually. Um, or do we go with 7? I kind of liked 15. I thought 15 looked good, but I think we settle on 7. So we do. So Quan Boner. We got done with the wiener. Now we're on to our boner. And he is going to get number 15, actually. And yeah, six foot three. Uh, speed rev, uh, speed flex helmet is the one that a lot of guys wear. That's a very popular helmet. And uh, we're going to give him the speed flex. We're going to give him, I believe, the Kirk Cousins uh, face mask. I believe this is what Kirk Cousins wears. It's kind of like that uh, Peyton Manning era type of face mask. So we gave Quan Boner that. We probably won't ever see him play just because I don't think quarterbacks get injured in Madden. Um, or at least in franchise, they don't get injured. or It's very rare. But, uh, yeah. We're going to change Nate English here. He's going to go to a more loose jersey style. We're going to raise his pad height a little. His pad size, actually, instead of height. And uh, give him a more professional look. 
I think, with that one-fourth team sleeve. Uh, looks pretty good. Going to change his glove, actually, to one of the newer gloves they just added into the game, the Super Bad 6. And I think that looks pretty good, honestly, um, for Season 2 of Nate English. As he makes a march to potentially win the MVP award. Now, Puna Ford... We're going to make a change here for Puna Ford, and that's going to be his jersey number. Uh, he's going to go to 94. After Nick Bosa signed that massive contract, one of the first guys he contacted was Puna Ford for number 97, and he was able to buy it off of him. Um, took him out to dinner, maybe. I don't know what the story on that would be, but guys buy numbers from each other all the time. So, yeah. And also, Vices Zero Trench, Two for um, Nick Bosa. I believe that's what he actually wears. I couldn't recall last time I saw the 49ers play, he had that helmet. Another change we're going to make here is Will Disley. We have a bunch of tight ends on this roster. We have four tight ends. Yeah, keep your jokes to yourself, kids. So Will Disley here, what are we going to do with him? We are actually going to just unofficially, or officially, I'm not sure I'm saying unofficially. Unofficially, he's been our, t uh, he's been our fullback. And we're actually just going to make that move officially and just move him straight to fullback, actually. Um, I think that move makes a lot of sense. He already plays fullback. It also opens up uh, things for Trey Cohen and um, Courtney Rice to pick up more snaps at uh, tight end two and three for us. So now we're going to change up our roster a little bit more. This is kind of like offseason 2.0, really. Amari Rodgers, we brought him in uh, midway through season one. Played pretty well for us, but didn't really didn't really stand out in season two um, at all. And we take a look here. Going to try to find a place to trade him. And none of the trade offers we get are particularly good. Nothing really that's like, oh, I better get on that. I better get on that 62 overall running back. So we go to the Bears, say, hey, give us a fifth round pick for this guy. And they do. They give us a fifth-round pick for Amari Rodgers. So he was a street free agent that we picked up, and we end up turning him into a fifth-round pick. I think that's a good. Um, I think that's a good way to sort of maximize uh, a player like that. Honestly, we we were able to turn him into a fifth-round pick. So we do want one other receiver. This is why I made that trade because he wasn't get playing time over whoever I brought in. And we just take a look through here, trying to find sort of a guy that would really fit in for us. And we take a look at the ratings. And Curtis Samuel, out of a lot of these sort of uh, free agent receivers here, probably the best release and the best awareness combination. And he has good speed and acceleration, good catching. So Curtis Samuel, going to come in, sign for us. We don't really have... Our two main guys are two big guys in uh, DK Metcalf and Terrell Jones, so... Curtis Samuel should fit in really nicely with uh, Dwayne Eskridge, sort of both of those guys sort of playing in the slot every now and then. Um, should really open things up for our offense. Going to release two of our running backs, I believe DJ Dallas, and I forgot the other guy we just released. Sorry for whoever that was. I'm sure someone likes him, but we just released him. Both of those guys, we're going to keep TJ Spillman around. Doesn't get a lot of playing time. It's a little too similar, I would say, in terms of his makeup as a back to um, to who we already have as starting um, with Kenneth Walker. What we're going to bring in here is something a lot different. We're going to bring in a sledgehammer here in A.J. Dillon. Uh, I believe he scored touchdowns on us in that NFC Championship game. The Packers, they didn't bring him back. So take a look here at Jamal Adams and... This is where uh, things almost got a little wild. I thought about possibly moving Jamal Adams to free safety. Um, he had a decent season for us. Um, low tackle. That's because, once again, we don't play full 15-minute quarters. So I'm sure if we did play full 15-minute quarters, he would probably have similar tackle numbers to, like, in line of, like, real life. But still, had turnovers. Um, no sacks, though. We don't really blitz him too much. He plays more way off the ball. I don't really bring him down even to sub packages. Um, but he has two years left on his deal. So he's going to be here for us for a while. And Quandre Diggs, you see the uh, sort of physical deterioration here. 87 speed, 87 acceleration. Still just a good, still a really good player. 
But I thought about potentially maybe moving Jamal Adams to free safety. And uh, then I decided against it. And I thought about potentially trading um, Quandre Diggs for safety. But I went through here and we, and we find the Bengals. Now, Jesse Bates, I believe, was going through a contract dispute with the Bengals. And I was interested to see if he got paid. And we took it through here. And he got paid. He has four years remaining on his deal. He will be in Cincinnati at least until 2027. Which leaves Daxton Hill. And I figure, why not trade for... Well, let's see if we can get a trade for Daxton Hill. We offer a second round pick. It's declined, but not by too much. So we throw in an extra four. And is that enough to get a deal done? And it is actually. Trade accepted. So we acquired Daxton Hill from the Cincinnati Bengals. Still on a rookie contract. Most I'm pretty positive he's still on a rookie contract. 80 overall. Going to wear number 30. He wore that at Michigan. So I think that's an immediate upgrade um, to safety. Not just for the season, but for the next couple seasons. Uh, as Quandre Diggs aging, regressing. Uh, we have a bit of a log jam of safeties, but Daxon Hill at the age of 23 is only going to get better. And yeah, so that is something that I think is just really cool uh, to go out and acquire a player that any superstar X factor. He is going to start over Quandre Diggs. Quandre Diggs is going to go to the bench, um, but I'm sure he'll understand. Um but yes, uh, Daxton Hill is going to be our starting free safety as we make a trade um, before the start of the season. So we get we sim through all the preseasons. Now it's down to the cut days and pretty easy cuts. Uh, you know, usually that first or second year is kind of tough, but usually as you get later into a franchise, it's pretty easy to figure out who you need to cut, when you should cut them. So um, yeah, just cutting some end of the roster guys here. Uh, kind of leftovers potentially from that first season. Um, they want me to cut Boye Mafe. Don't agree with that. He's a decent uh, just um, guy to just have, honestly. Um, Josh Jones here. Um, we do end up cutting Josh Jones. I did have him. I brought him back simply because he was in that second season. We did play him sometimes. Um, at that sub linebacker position just to get more speed. We don't really need to do that anymore because of Matthias Polk. He'll he'll play that sub linebacker role and we'll have sort of just two linebackers in Brooks and Polk on the field more often. Um, because I think Polk has the speed and the athleticism to sort of stay on the field. I don't need to bring in one of my safeties. So there's that. Kenneth Walker gets an upgrade. Nothing crazy. Um, at all for that upgrade there. So we're going to head into the regular season here and we're going to eventually, we're going to go through the schedule and take a look at it. But, uh, we start the season versus the jets and, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we take a look at the schedule jets, lions, bills, then the Patriots, Bears, Buccaneers. See that Week 7 matchup? That, honestly, in real life, that would probably be a Sunday night game. This is kind of why I... Like, why would we have a Monday night primetime game versus the Bears when we'd probably play a Sunday night game versus the Packers? But we do play Sunday night, back-to-back -back Sunday nights, actually, Eagles and Rams. But um, sort of see that we don't start playing sort of NFC West teams until week nine, I believe. So, um, kind of wait a while to get in there into NFC West play. I kind of don't like that. I, I really wish they would recognize how the NFL does the scheduling. Um, they want you early on in the season, you play these teams and then you kind of play them late in the season. We don't really, we get all of our sort of NFC West pledge from week nine to uh week 16 i mean and then that's it and then only two weeks left and then we finish on the road versus the chiefs and the dolphins so two high powered offenses to close out um the season we have the chiefs actually on monday night uh week 17 so yes a very 
interesting schedule, honestly, and uh, somewhat looking. I'm looking forward to getting into it, honestly. Um, should bring some challenges. Gonna set our goal here, and we're just gonna keep it at make the playoffs. I know we made the playoffs last year pretty easily. Maybe the goal should have been to win the Super Bowl, but I kind of wish they just had a make the Super Bowl option or maybe seeding and things like that. Maybe our goal this year is to maybe get the one seed so we don't have to go on the road to Green Bay um, this season. I think that that's a better goal is to get home field throughout the playoffs. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe. Season three starting very soon. And uh, yeah. One of you guys for watching this video, thank you for supporting the series. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.